Hello all, welcome back. Thanks for your comments, subs and likes. It might look sunny now, but it was frosty this morning. That's a bit better, not so sunny now. I've been busy, as you've just seen, dismantling that um, compost cover or mulch cover. So I'll just put that together, then I'll show you it afterwards, I think, because you've probably seen enough of me doing that type of thing. But I'll show you what it's like now. I know that them boards are just long enough to go from front to back so it doesn't fall inside. So basically, I'm gonna use them two as my measuring guides. So I'm gonna do the same width ways as that way. But I'm just gonna do it with a load of uh, pallet boards. I'll get that frame knocked up, then I'll show you after that. This is where we're up to now. It's a damn sight lighter than that other one, I can tell you that much. But anyway, should have done this in the first place, really. But you live and learn. Right, I've got some of these um, black bag, uh, black compost bags. So I'm gonna lay them over the top. Use some of these tacks to tack it down. Some of them have got holes in, so I'm going to try and see if I can just cover that up. So I'll, I'll get that covered up and I'll put it on the compost bin. I popped around my local shop over the weekend and someone had these doors outside their gate. Had a sign on it for free. So obviously I've only got a little car and this... Well, I had a mate with me, luckily. So that just about that one fitted in there. So I've grabbed that door so I can make it into my polytunnel door. It's, like it's going to need cutting down, I know that much. So I'll probably have to cut a bit off of the top and bottom of it. Because... The door is only going to be this high. So, yeah, the door is only going to be that high. And that is a full-size door. And I know that that's going to be too long. Because I have to duck to get in here. I also went into a famous Wilco on Friday, I think it was. And got this thermometer. I've had them white ones before, but they only seem to work for one season for me and they get really brittle. So I thought I'll give this one a go. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet, but I've had it down here by where the seeds were. So I can see what the temperature is around there. It's fluctuating a little bit, but it's around about the 20. Once it stops, no, about 22 actually. So, yeah, quite warm in here today actually. And I also got a fleece, frost and insect protection. So that's gonna come in handy later on. Right, I'll get on and do that. Uh, compost top now right this is more like what i had in mind in the first place all i've done is made the frame up as you've seen and put some dog bags on the top black facing up because that will attract the heat so yeah it's a bit better now it's more like it isn't it it's very easy to lift up as you can see, not like that other thing I did. That was well heavy. So, yeah, there you go, sorted. Right, I've got all this mess to clear up now, so I will see you tomorrow. As you can see, it's a little bit frosty this morning, 
but the birds are chirping so that's good isn't it but yeah i was gonna have a go at this um water pack but i don't know whether it's gonna be frozen or not uh yeah let's have a look yeah a little bit frozen i don't think it's that deep oh, i don't know yeah Right, I'm gonna bust this. I wanna empty this today. So, so I'll get that busted and I'll start emptying that out. So then I can move that over to this side, down the side of the poly tunnel there, where that pot is. That's got my comfort in actually. And as you can see, it's just starting to come through. So, Right, I'll get this busted and get this uh, water back emptied. <laughs> it needs to be moved, as you can see, because it's on the slant. So I'll get this busted and moved. Well, according to my thermometer, it's uh, 10 at the moment inside the poly tunnel. So, hey, maybe it never froze near last night, but... Yeah, let's have a look in here actually. Let's have a look in this water bag. Oh well, look, maybe it did. A little bit of ice in there. But hey, never mind. None of these seedlings have come up yet. So I think I'm gonna um, get some of these and get these on top. I should have done this before. But yeah, I'll get them and put them on top of there. I've more or less emptied this out but I've been taking the water or water and I've been putting it on here because this is very dry and it's leaves so yeah I've just chucked it on there safe chucking it on the ground at least it's going to help my compost when it starts warming up anyway as you can see quite nice blue skies actually so yeah, started off very cold, but now the sun's coming out, it's quite nice. Right, as I said, it's nice and sunny up here, but once you go down this bit here, as you can see, nice and frosty. So, yeah, well, my hands are well cold now, so. I've emptied that out anyway, so I'll get that shifted and moved over to there. I'll have to put my uh, comfrey somewhere else.
this is what I found underneath. Look at all these snails. So they've obviously been getting underneath here. I did only have like a couple of these bits under that. So I'm gonna get a proper slab to put underneath so the slugs can't get underneath it or less likely to anyway. Uh, that's another job off the list. I think it looks better over there anyway, but yeah, I still need to um, move this hose as well. So I'll probably just pull it up to here and put it in here because obviously I've got all this stuff here and it goes all the way along there underground. So actually while I'm here, I'm probably gonna dig a channel underneath there and just put it under because up and over as I think I said before up and over I don't get that good a uh, water pressure so I'm just going to dig a little channel out there and just run it along the bottom of the fence someone did say to me why didn't I do that when I was talking about putting at the top I don't know why I didn't do that but yeah, I did it on this side. <laughs> so I don't know why I didn't just do it on that side as well. I don't know why I said that, but anyway, yeah. And this is what we're left with. These are the uh, red robin that I want to move up to the top there in the corner pretty soon. But as you can see, it's quite a lot lower and it's got loads of leaves. Well, grass, I should say. I want to put another board along there to the same height as this one so that when I top it up with soil it's not all going to just fall over there so I need to get a couple of boards in there before I top this up but I need to get these uh, red robin out first but that's probably not going to be the day but it's going to be soon I think when this frost goes then yeah I'll move and then I think after that I've got this bit of a cardboard so I'm going to take it up here lay it out on this grass bit decomposing but yeah once I, I get a bit of water on there or a bit of frost that'll make it right down once I get compost on there then yeah it won't last long right, just before I go in I thought I'd show you these crocus they're doing quite well actually I'm surprised that they haven't been frosted so yeah nice bright colors already now i've got loads of bulbs and stuff these fox gloves need sorting out a little bit as well to be honest but this bed needs a good weed i've got some uh, tulips coming out there as well i've got some um snake head for tillers there as well there's loads of bulbs all sorts in here Another bulb there, I'm not too sure what that is. I've got, uh, I think there's loads of bluebells on the bottom of this. But look, as you can see, there's loads of fox gloves about as well. So I'm going to need to have a good old salt out in here pretty soon. The grass is getting long as well, but obviously it's too wet to cut anything. But yeah, we'll get there in the end still not going to take the top of this off i'm still going to wait a couple more weeks and once we get into a bit better weather i'm just going to take the top of this off just pull them leaves off and hopefully it grows back but we'll have to see what happens with that i wasn't very happy with this yesterday so i've uh, found another bigger slab and i've leveled it out and everything so it's nice and level now 
I've also been uh, bashing stones and rocks in today as well. As you can see, there's a bit more up there. But also, I've uh, put that board on there. So, when I fill this up with compost from my bin, then it's not going to go over onto the strawberries. I need to weed that out actually. But this is what I'm going to put in there. But this is my uh, compost. Well, with other bits in, but there's compost there as you can see. Well, it's leaf mould actually that I took up from my pathway when I dug it out. But it is uh, wood chips rotted down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a couple of barrows of that. this bed up but really I want to get these uh, red robin out so that might happen at the weekend depends what the weather's like it wasn't frosty this morning so it wasn't too bad but hopefully I'll get, dig these out on the weekend and I will um, replant them straight away in this little bit here a cat's been digging over here as well i caught him yesterday but yeah i'm gonna put the rest of them robin in there so i'm gonna get this hose out pull it out put it up to there because as i said before i've got all that mess there to clear up first so i'll get this uh pipe up here today get that shifted as well and then we go from there Right, one of my subscribers said I should have the black on the outside, which is true, because black attracts the heat. So I've changed that one and I've found more carpet tiles. So I've managed to that right, wrap that one as well. So yeah, I could smell it inside there actually when I was leaning over doing it, but you know, that's all good. So they're done now. That was a pain, but you know, done now isn't it I've just cut this buddleia back as well so it's not in my uh, root vegetable bed it's going to give it a bit of shade but I get I get uh, sun from both sides so it'll be all right there I'm also I want to um, dig these out tomorrow if the weather's not too bad and plant them up the top and fill this bed in. I'm gonna move them red robin today, I think. The same hedge as this. So what I wanna do first, I wanna obviously clear this lot out. I'm gonna dig a trench out first. So I'll start with that. I'll do that first, then I'll come back to you. I looked to see how many I got up there to transfer. I've only got three, so I dug a uh, three holes ready for these. So, right, I'm just gonna get on with these then. I'll dig these out now.
roots have got some bind weed in them, as you can see. So I will pick out all this bind weed, then I will get on and plant them.
another job off the list. So once that grows up and starts thickening out, it should be quite nice, but I want to get it to at least the height of that fence there, at least. But hey, I will keep trimming it down as we go, like I've done on this one. So then we get more shoots. As you can see, look, I've pruned the top off of that one. And I've got one, two, three, four, five shoots off of that one cut. So I'll keep doing that. So it keeps it nice and bushy at the bottom as well. And it's not all top. So yeah, this one's quite a lot smaller actually. But once it gets established, it should be all right. And luckily I've got my hose here. So I can give it a water if I want to. So yeah, but the, the grounds are quite moist as it is actually. So yeah, that's that done. Now that I've got them red robin out of there and put them up the other end, I'm gonna give this a weed get my uh, cardboard back on there. I'm gonna have a look in my shed, see if I've got a bit more so I can cover it completely. Once I've got my cardboard on there, I'm gonna get some of this compost out of this bin and I'm gonna top that bit up. You may have seen me put it on top of the red robin just a minute ago. I'm not doing it to feed it or anything. It's just to top it up a little bit because when I healed the red robin in, the ground was quite soft. So, right, I'm gonna get this weeded and then I'll get some more cardboard over the top of this, get it all covered, hopefully. I'll have a look in my shed and see what cardboard I got. I wasn't gonna dig this over, but I found some bindweed roots in that red robin hedge as you saw so i'll give this a dig out don't worry about that that's only a bit of cardboard that i put on there before i've got to get some more cardboard to put down under there first out my shed actually if i've got any i'm sure i have but this is what i found in there some of these bind weavers off the roots of red robin but yeah all sorts of stuff so Right, I'll get some more carpet, lay that down. Then I'll go and get some more of my wood chip mulch and put that on there. I'll just get a couple of barrows, I think, see how far that takes us.
Right, I'll put a couple of barrows on there. It's probably going to need a couple of more, so I'll do that during the week or whenever. By the time you come back next weekend, that'll be filled up as best I can. But no doubt it's going to fall down or what have you when it starts to settle down. So I'll probably have to top it up a bit more. So that's them red robin out of there, which is good. Got that all sorted. And uh, planted the red robin up there. Right, I'm going to start sowing some seeds during the week. So we should actually start getting some stuff growing pretty soon because time's getting on. But right, thanks for watching, commenting and subbing. If you haven't subbed yet, bell's down in that corner. Click on the bell, click on all and you'll get my notifications. Right, see you next Saturday. Bye.